Welcome back everybody. So we got the chassis running in the last video. I'll get some more video of us driving the chassis around with our redneck steering wheel. The body is all painted up and that's ready to go on. I got to polish up the outside of it because I'm not going to wrap it right away. Like I said, I want to drive it a little bit before I wrap it. The seats came in today. So we're going to see how they fit up to the car and see what I need to do to get the seats to fit in the car. And we're going to drive the car, hopefully, this video. I'm so excited. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do this. All right, so my racing seats um, for this thing do look really cool. I haven't unwrapped them completely yet. But just looking at them, even in the package, and this thing, just looking at everything and seeing how this thing's going to go together, I am so excited. These things look so badass, and they're not even opened up yet. All right, so I haven't put them in yet or even lined them up at all. I just kind of figured where I'm going to be. So these have to come out, these little uh, sliders for the other seats that I never had because I ordered the, the new pans and I ordered them with that, not really thinking I was going to get different seats. But these are universal racing seats. Um, I got them for like 200 bucks on Amazon. Had them shipped right here. They came in nice packaging. They are not ruined at all. They look freaking fabulous. And they're so comfortable to sit in. I can't wait to actually get the car done and take it down the road and feel how comfy those seats actually are. All right, now that I got those uh, those metal brackets out of the bottom of the pan here, I did have to clean up the rivets that were in there. Um, whatever they did with the welding, I had to do more welding because I was putting holes in them when I took them all out. I just basically bashed them out because I tried using a, a little uh, grinder. That didn't work, so I decided to just bash them out and get them all out of there. I bent it a little bit, but it's where the seat sits, so I'm honestly not really that worried about it. If this was a, like a pristine build, I'd be kind of pissed, but this is literally... I mean, if you look at other spaces, there's like piles and piles of metal just welded on there because I was practicing and whatever else. So this car's not perfect. It's going to be good, but it's not perfect. All right, so the body is in the shop. I'm going to tear out everything I don't need, and I'm going to probably try and figure out how I'm going to suspend this thing to get the chassis underneath it. All right, so today is the day. I got all the reservoir and all the other parts I need back into the body. And the body's looking, you know, a little bit rough, but I'll clean it up once I get it back on the chassis, which is sitting over here for right now. But I'm putting the body back on the chassis today i got two of my buddies coming to help me because you know this is kind of a more than a one-man job but i got the rubber seal that's supposed to go all around this i got to clean up the wires and everything but then uh hopefully after that we can get this thing moving around with the body and the chassis and i don't have to keep moving the body and possibly hurting it with the tractor I haven't hurt that yet, but I'm just, I'm scared of it because it is fiberglass. And if I put it down harder, I move it the wrong way, it might just shatter it. So I'm really glad to be getting this back on the chassis today. All right. So this is our best option here. Um, we're going to use the straps, get this thing in the air, and we're going to roll the chassis underneath it. And we're going to put some bolts through it and hopefully it lines up, but we're not really sure yet. So hopefully this goes well and not catastrophic. He's pushing the car under there real quick. And then we're going to lower it down. As you can tell, this is kind of sketchy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to help him real quick, and then uh, we'll show you when it's on. It looks so weird. <laughs> well, we're going to lower it down, and we're going to see uh, how it lines up. I think we got a, just about got it, so. Oh, boy. All right, so after like an hour or two, we got the body on. The steering column is hooked up. The brakes are on. We got to pump them and bleed them. Make sure they're all good. Uh, what does really upset me about this is the motor fits kind of nicely, but my uh, my piece that I bought wasted a whole $5. I can't fit it on there, and I'm not happy about it. So that, that kind of sucks, but I mean, everything else fits kind of nicely. Inside looks okay. I got to tear out that crappy carpet. All right, so we have... The brakes all hooked up. They are giving us little issues. We're not getting any pressure. So we're going to pull it out and test drive it a little bit. Um, I think there's something off about it or I might have to get a new filter or something because the filter is just too high in the car. But everything else looks good. Everything fits good. 
wheels all look good. I don't think it's going to hit anything. Steering wheels all bolted up with the, I'm going to have to clean up all that electrical before I start driving this thing around because I don't want to hurt myself. But we're just fixing up some bolts in the corners here and then we're going to take it for a little test drive and drive it around the yard real quick. So she runs and drives. I am excited to say that it does do the speed limit. Not much faster than that. But we got it out. The brakes are all hooked up. The um, all the linkage pieces. But when I was driving, uh, one of the transmission the transmission shifter it like fell out, kind of sort of like the the top of it fell off because I was trying to downshift and I knocked it off. Just kind of scared me a little bit. Um, emergency brake does work because you know couldn't downshift so <laughs> we don't have any actual brakes in the car as of right now but i can't believe the ground clearance on that but it does work so i am excited to show you guys some driving of this darn thing He has no seat. I have a seat that's just placed in here. We didn't even take it out of the plastic yet, but we're going to run it down the road and see if we can get it to, uh, I don't have any spin on I don't have anything. This thing's not very fast at all. We took it down the road before, but it's still got some bad fuel in it. So it will backfire like that a lot. There it goes. This is our brakes. Just making, uh, making, our, making sure everything's safety here at the household. Which way do you want to go? That way or this way? Go that way.
make you feel? Um, I mean, it's good. It's a good sign. I mean, not really, but I'm still running. Maybe we can try to make it home. I don't know. I mean, it's a good sign if it's running out of fuel. It's a bad sign if it's something else. Nope. No, that was fuel. <laughs> um, we are currently a mile from our house. So we're going to either call somebody or book it home and grab Wyatt's truck and uh, not not my, my, my mind, but his truck and uh, grab some fuel. <laughs> I said we had to stop at a gas station at some point today, but um, yeah, we didn't make it that far. We didn't make it that far. I was just I was just saying we should probably get some fuel. In. Get some straps, you want to tow? No, I don't want to tow. Go get some fuel. I'll, go, I'll come with you. Hang on a second. You're staying here. <laughs> As you can see, my seat's not in. Don't, don't let anyone steal my car. Here. Nobody steals my car. Got it? I mean, it looks cool. It's out of fuel, though. We're back to save you. Yeah! <laughs> um... So we're gonna get some more fuel in there because there is some fuel in there, but it's really bad. So we're just gonna dilute the fuel. And we got a new fuel filter too, because we're not really sure what it is. I mean, it could be an electrical issue too. There's all that holding us together. So we will figure it out. Hopefully get it running. All right, so for those of you who don't know, like this bad. is my buddy, Wyatt. I'm also Wyatt, but that's the other Wyatt. This is Dakota, the man that saved us with his danger car. Yeah, it's whatever. We're filling it up, and then obviously we're gonna get back in it and see if it starts. So it was the fueling issue. Um, we didn't have any fuel. It's pretty much full now, but we're still gonna go to the gas station and top it off. Um, he's gonna follow us to the gas station because we don't have any brake lights. We're just gonna use hand signals. So hopefully we're safe, right? <laughs> All right, so we're heading to the gas station right now. Dakota is behind us. So we're using our hand signals, blah, blah, blah. And my thing went sideways again. in the back, ass things in front, and uh, yeah, people are giving us kind of funny looks. Um, we probably hit 55. I mean, we can't really tell. So, I think it would do the speed limit, maybe. Maybe 65 if I was pushing it. But, it's not a very fast car. Not at all. <laughs> this thing is so bad. We need to fix all this. Oh, well, it's, it's wrong way. Here we go. <laughs> well, I think that's it for today. We gotta, you know, fix the fuel filter and go through it and make sure everything else works. Get the gauges working so we can tell where everything is and how fast we're going. Um, get the plates on it, the lights to work. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know what this was, but 
we didn't die and we ran out of fuel <laughs> down the road went to the gas station that was fun um yeah no no bad happened i mean a little bad happened but nothing nothing too serious so it runs and drives stay tuned for some more driving once we get this uh fuel issue figured out and we gotta you know bolt in the seats get the lights to work and a few other things so we can make it fully legal but it is registered and insured so this technically wasn't illegal we had someone following us we we're using our hand signals so i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time